In this screencast, we're going to, we're going to label all of the bones that will actually be able to assign vertexes, vertex groups to them. If we pan down, one really handy thing you can do at this moment is turn on the names of the bones. Click on the names down here. You can see the bones have a very unhelpful set of names to begin with. To change this, we simply need to click on a bone. I'll start down here at the uh, shins right there. And I'm going to move down so we can see both parts here. I click on the selected bone. The BO colon right there simply means that's a bone. The other, th the bone.013 I can change. I'm going to call this shin dot L for the left shin and then hit return. You can see the name changed there. I'm going to do the same thing here. Shin dot R. As I go through, I'm simply going to rename each of these bones, dot L or dot R, thigh dot L, thigh dot R. One thing you need to be very careful of right here is that you do not add any extra spaces in here. One problem that people run into is if they have an extra space in there after the colon, or even worse, an extra space at the end, which is really hard to see. You need to make sure you don't have any extra spaces so that when you see these names, you can actually rely on them to be what the actual name of the bone is.